A good voice changer can change your life. I find your lack of cooking skills disturbing. I'm just hard boiling eggs. What are you doing, you weirdo? But where do you find a good voice changer that's gonna allow you to use well-known voices like this? We have an incredibly rare and special sighting today. This absolutely amazing beast is captured in his wild habitat. You can plainly see that he takes no guff from that string and shows it who's boss. And here you see the amazing creature showing off its pouncing skills. Notice the fluffy tail used for balance. Or creative fun voices like this. Smitty Warmer the Eckerman Jensen. He was number one. With these spiky cleats, anything is possible. Or maybe even create voices of your own. Well, I'm gonna show you today, so you know what? Let's get to it! <laughs> Hello, my YouTube friends. The voice changer I'm gonna show you today is called Voice AI. There's a link in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. And yes, you can try it for free. It's totally easy to set up and use, so let me show you. We're gonna go to this page right here and you can see download now. All you have to do is click that and it will start downloading. And we can go ahead and click on it. It will bring up the install and you just click I agree. And then it'll bring up the location where it's going to install and you can go ahead and just click install. It takes a few moments for this to run through. And once it is finished, you can just click finish. It will automatically launch it if you have that radio selected. Then you just wanna go ahead and create an account with a valid email address. And then you just get the actual code from the email that they send you. And once you're finished, you're gonna go ahead and come to this page where it's going to ask you to go ahead and start. And the next one, you're gonna go ahead and select the microphone that you're going to be using. And then when you click next, you're going to start training your voices. And once you're finished training, it'll give you a little demo on how the voices work, but you could just click finish and I'll show you how you can go ahead and kick off training anytime you want if you just want to get started. So this is what you're going to see when you finally get into voice AI. And really you do want to train your voices. That is the difference between using faster or better. So if you don't train your voices, Needless to say, they're going to sound pretty poor. The higher you go on this list, the more delay there is, but the better your voice is going to sound. So I really do recommend that you train your voice. If you didn't do it when you first log in, you can go ahead and click here and go to voice training. And then it's really simple. You want to set the volume on your microphone. They want it to be 75%. Needless to say, mine isn't quite there. Next, I'm just going to click next and you start by recording three seconds of silence so that voice AI can analyze your acoustic environment. So let's do that. Then you record your voice ID and you read the statement below, which is pretty much what most of this is gonna be. So let's go ahead and do that. The long journey home took over a year. Elon second guessed traveling to Mars. And of course there are nine more of these that you have to run through. It really doesn't take that long and it is well worth doing this. In fact, over and over again. The more you train, the more you will actually hear a massive difference in how much better it can sound. Let's take a look at some of the other settings. So we go up here to the gear and we've got our voice universe. It takes us to a web page that is going to show you all of the voices that you can get and more. Then over here we have settings. So in general, you can start it with Windows. You can start it minimized in the system tray and you can minimize it to the system tray when it's closing. And that just means that it will stay running down in your system tray and you can update it right here. If we go into audio, it basically allows you to select where you want your audio to come from. It wants to have about a 75% volume when talking. Mine is obviously lower. It would probably sound better if it was higher, but I don't want to adjust the camera volume on here. I have it set the way I like it. Your output volume, obviously right here. Now the audio pass through. This one right here means that you're going to be able to get the audio input in another system like OBS when you don't have the actual voices turned on. So this one's kind of important. Singing mode allows you to sing and it helps it control the way the audio works much better. Volume boost, pretty self-explanatory. Reduces breaths and noise reduction. 
two things that you generally want, especially if you're in a noisy environment. Now your noise gate is going to basically set the threshold at which background noise is not picked up in your microphone. If you have a very, very sensitive microphone that picks up a lot of background noise, you may want to bump this up higher. Otherwise, you could probably leave it set the way it is, and you can do a voice lock mean, and this is pretty interesting. So you can lock it so it will prevent it from getting pitchy. When you adjust the pitch of your voice, it can either take that into account or not take that into account, and you can actually set the hertz at which you want it kind of locked, and this can really help to increase how good some of these voices will sound. You can go into shortcuts and set your shortcut to turn the voice changer on and off and record, and you can even have it select a random voice. This is obviously going to be useful if you're going to live stream with this. You can set the voice that you want and then just turn it on and off with hotkeys. And then the meta model training you can set to go on and train your voice all the time so that uh, when you come back you don't have to go through the whole thing this is kind of nice now i already told you that this will change the voice from faster which is basically immediate but also pretty low quality somewhere in the middle once you have your voices trained pretty high you can do that and then better means it's going to have the most delay but the voice is actually going to be as high quality as possible now some people will find this to be extremely annoying when they're live because obviously the voice isn't going to match the mouth movement and it really depends what sort of thing you're trying to accomplish for a video Video, this really isn't a big problem because you can speak it and record it and you can just dub it right over where you were speaking and it won't be any problem whatsoever however on a live stream where people can obviously see you moving your mouth and then you know five seconds later the voice actually comes through some people might find that to be exceptionally annoying personally if you put on a mask or you're using something like snap camera i don't really think it's that big a deal but some people have different viewpoints on this than i do you can just click here to change the voices you see i have a couple loaded up already that i used for the intro of this video but you can go over here to all and you can set it up here to top quality or alphabetical or recently used recently trained recently added or recommended and it will kind of recommend to you the voices that you might like or might not like and you can also go up here and search so if we wanted a robot voice of some sort we can go in here and check and see what we've got some of these have not been tested very well others have and most of them obviously are voice captures from some sort of robot that's out there already so we can try the battle droid you can click this right here and it will play it this is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice stability and tone without any voice acting and any of these will give you that same kind of thing this is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate voice st a lot of these were trained by people who may or may not have a particular understanding of how this works this is a standardized audio sample to demonstrate Let's go ahead and get the battle droid and we'll train that one up and you can see once you do that it takes a little while for these voices to train on your system right here it says it's training and once it's done we'll go ahead and check it out and see what it actually sounds like this is what the voice sounds like when it's completely trained and ready to go so as you can see you really need to actually take a listen and train your voice on how you want to portray each character the closer you get to an actual impression the better it's going to sound it also gets better as you push that dial up a bit but of course this introduces a lot more delay let me quickly show you how to add this into obs i already have a camera in this scene and i can just right click on that camera and go to properties then what i'm going to do is scroll down where it says audio devices and i'm using a custom audio device so if yours is unchecked go ahead and check use custom audio device then i'm going to drop this down and i'm going to select microphone array voice ai audio cable and there we go so now when I turn on the voice in Voice AI, I'm going to hear the voice. When I have it off, I'm going to hear my regular voice. Now if you wanted to add this over top of a scene, you didn't want to add a camera, you can easily do that as well. All you have to do is click the plus, go to Audio Input Capture, 
and then go ahead and drop this down and select the microphone array voice AI. And when you click OK, you're going to add this to your system and it's going to add that voice. It's really that simple to add this to OBS or pretty much any other application like Zoom or Discord or wherever you want. Let me give you some idea of how much delay there actually is. So let's bring this up. And what I'm gonna do is we've got Samuel Jackson here and we'll turn the voice changer on. So now I'm using the Samuel Jackson voice and what you can see is it doesn't start for quite some time after I start talking. Let's turn down the quality a little bit and see how much it affects the actual length of time it takes for you to hear the voice. So now when I'm talking, the question is, is the quality really taking a hit? And also, is it that much faster? Now let's say you wanted to actually adjust your video to match up with your audio. You can right click on the video capture device, go into filters, then you go to render delay. Now you want to put how much time you want to delay the actual video render. 500 is the most that you can do. I try 200 here and you're going to be able to see what that looks like. Then you just add the render delay to hopefully match up with your voice. Now I push that delay all the way to the 500 milliseconds and we'll see what that looks like. 500 milliseconds is the longest that you can actually delay it. It gets it a lot closer, especially when you're using the medium settings, but I don't think it's close enough. So if you train your voice more and more, you can probably bump the quality down a little bit. It will work better. and You might be able to get your voice lined up pretty close. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this down from 13 to 7. We'll try it on number 7 and see how much closer we get. That seems to be working pretty doggone close. Is it perfect? No, but it's easily maskable. And I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance and furious anger. Those who, you know. Now that was done after training the voice for a while and on number 7. It kind of shows you what you can do if you're willing to train it a lot and do a little bit of voice acting. I've adjusted the delay so it lines up with my voice. It's pretty good. Now every voice might actually change the amount of delay, but if it's close enough, especially if you're using something like Snap Camera for changes of faces and things like that, your audience is just going to love it. It's going to be more entertaining then it is annoying, especially if you're not using it all the time. If you're just using it on occasion to do a fun little bit, it's not going to be anything that aggravates your audience. It's going to enhance your live stream. And if you do videos, well, imagine the intros that you can do with something like this to make it sound like you actually have some famous Hollywood star introducing your video. What are your favorite voices? Let me know in the comments. Now this software is still in beta, so there could be a bug or two. Also, in my experience, the voices sound a lot better when you train the voice machine a lot and have your audio set up properly. Background noises are an absolute killer on this one. Once you train the voices, if you use the setting around seven and the 500 millisecond render delay in OBS, I find that it lines up pretty nicely and is totally usable for a live stream. But you know what? You let me know what you think. If you want to see another voice changer option, you should check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.